part, uh, it's going to look at the last 100 days or so. Mm, actually, it'll probably be about 20 days. So I'll build an SMA, a simple moving average, and it will tell me which way is the trend. And if the trend is, you know, bullish, we're going to look for longing opportunities. But if it's bearish, we're going to look for shorting opportunities. Now, this is a Bitcoin chart. I will will go ahead and pull up. Let's see, I'll pull up my Femex account here because I actually don't want to trade Bitcoin. I would actually rather trade one of these altcoins based off of Bitcoin. So it's a little weird, I know, but it tends to work. And the reason I do that is just the altcoins are a little more volatile. So you know they typically follow bitcoin so i might even go ahead and see what the trend is with bitcoin and then also the altcoin they're going to be similar but i'm going to look at the trend and then i'm going to place my buys i'm going to build like a i'm going to build a 20 sma again but i'm going to have it on the 15 minute so the first sma is going to be a daily sma for the last, I think, 20 days, maybe 15, 20 days. We'll figure it out when I get there, test it out. And then the second SMA is going to be a 15 minute SMA for 20 periods or so. And the reason I'm going to put this SMA in is because this one is going to determine where I'm going to buy it. So one determines which way we're buying if we're opening as a short or a long that's the daily one and then the second parameter I'm looking at is the 15 minute SMA and that's where we'll place our bids I'll probably I'll probably place two buys and they're gonna be above and below that SMA so pretty simple strategy I'm not gonna use a stop loss I'm gonna use a uh, kind of just a stop loss in the sense of size so i'm just not gonna i'm not gonna make my positions too much i will use some leverage let's go ahead and see what i have here so i only have 100 bucks in my account and that's probably good because you know this is a, a new strategy but once this strategy proves itself we can go ahead and level this up to probably a thousand two thousand um i like to diversify i have tons and tons of strategies so i try to keep keep it in the low thousands and then you can scale with other strategies but that being said let's just dive into it i've got this great cup of coffee here so i'm sorry if you hear me slurping a little bit it's my favorite coffee and i'm gonna need it because we're building an algo here we're building it from scratch uh, i think i went over everything you know the strategy look at the trend from the sma we're gonna do the 20 day sma and then we're going to place our buys or shorts, our buys or sells to enter along the 15 minute SMA. So we need to create two SMAs. That'll be one of the first things we need to do. I'm going to use CCXT, which is a library in Python. And I'm just going to get started because I think this is, this is going to be good. Um, a lot of people are scared right now. Like this is a, a downtrend. I personally think I'm not going to think. I'm not going to make any opinions. You know, from from my eye, it looks like it's going to it's going to bounce. But that being said, if it doesn't bounce, this is where humans go wrong. Like if it goes down here and it's, it starts falling, if I keep thinking it's going to bounce, I would keep longing it. But I just want my code to do it for me, because I, at the end of the day, if I program this strategy or whatever strategy I do run, then the code runs it and it is what it is you take out the emotion for example like i'm sure you've been in a strategy uh, in a trade before where it's like you're in a, a winning trade and you just need to close it out and if you closed it you would have won you could have walked away enjoyed your day but what happened is you have emotion and you think hey this might go a little higher or i might make a little more and then it turns around on you and you lose it so that type of stuff happens all the time and i just want to avoid that that's why i'm an algo trader and i I just code all my algorithms.
in order to trade for me. So let's just dive into this. This might take a bit, so please do stick around. This is going I'm gonna show you a lot. And like I said, I'm just a normal, normal dude, and I want to show you that this is not like rocket science. So let's make all our imports here. Let's import CCXT, which is the library I'll be using. Um, let's import NumPy. Let's import my don't share config as DS. This is pretty much a configuration file with my keys in it. Let's go ahead and import um, date time for sure. Let's import date. And I'm doing this live, so uh, I don't see many people do this on YouTube, but if you appreciate it, this transparency, just go ahead and smash that like button. Okay, so I imported all of these things. It looks like I need to go ahead and pip install some of these. Pip install date. Let's see if that works. Nope. Pip install date time. And you're going to see like everything. <laughs> you can see like I'm going to run into errors and stuff. And let's go ahead. I'll have to Google stuff along the way, of course. Let's go ahead and I'll handle that later if I need it. I'm just going to mark them out for now. Import date. Let's go ahead and keep it moving. Import time and schedule. Okay, now we need to connect to our uh, our brokerages. So how are we gonna do that? I'm gonna type 